All right, welcome back everybody to part three of Understanding Your Machinery. Now we're talking about the heart and soul, the heart slash soul. So what is that? This, I believe, is the essence of who we truly are. We can say that we are the body, we can say that we are the mind, but that really isn't accurate. These are tools that we have access to as souls on planet Earth. So souls, we can get into a whole complicated or complex conversation about that. We're not going to, but I consider it just this aggregation of light and energy here in physicality, harnessing a physical body, utilizing mind as a tool, this all-pervading force, this energy, and living out this life in third dimension and having the lessons, having the, the growth, the, the evolution of the soul. That's, again, a whole science, a whole thing we can get into. But that's not what this is. This is just, again, like the, like the, the title says, understanding your machinery. So the heart, soul, first of all, the heart, we have the physical organ of the heart, which, according to the HeartMath Institute and other organizations, have, is shown to have a, a, um, an electromagnetic field 5,000 times greater than that of the brain. So it's considered a brain of its own. This is your center. Now, on a more metaphysical level, this is where the soul resides. And when you're in this place, you're out of the ego. You're not, well, you're not controlled or run by the ego. When you are the ego, the personality, attaching to the body, attaching to the thoughts with, within mind that come from mind, you are, you are seeking outcomes, you are seeking expectations, or you have expectations, you aren't in the moment, you aren't present. And this, this is a trap. This has us going in this spiraling game, this rat race of trying to, to get something, be something, do something in order to, to have this state that we desire. So there comes desires with body and ego. Now again, this can get long-winded, and this is already the longest video of the three, but so be it. Heart and soul, what is the takeaway of this? Well, just describing what it is, and more so emphasizing that when we are in a place of the heart, where we're in the heart space, that is when we are present. I keep emphasizing presence, being in the present moment, and we are free from these these shackles, we're free from fear, free, free from self-judgment, from, from doubt and, uh, and any hesitation because we are just living true to ourselves. So in order to do that, we want to understand who we are, become intimate with ourselves, engage in practices that help cultivate self-love. I talk about this in, in the, in the self-emanation series, how we have to start at the heart in order to, to go outward in self-enhancement, in the self-enhancement journey. So I'll leave it at that. The heart and soul, you want to be heart-centered. You want to get out of time, so to speak. Get out of expectation. Get out of judgments and just be present. And that's where practices such as meditation come into play or any kind of mindfulness practice where you're, you're dedicating yourself to the art, whatever that may be, whatever discipline you're doing, you become more heart-centered, all right? I may talk about that in a fourth bonus video and how it all interplays, but for now, we'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you soon.